Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. And if you guys want to sign up, I do have a website. It's in the description link below, Platinum Membership. Um, lots of financial information and education on there. I also go over question and answers and all sorts of stuff for Platinum members on the weekends. Uh, everything's videotaped and you can see all the previous ones if you guys are interested in watching those as well. But today we're going to do our technical analysis update of uh, oil and natural gas. And I've got, you know, kind of a bigger picture here for uh, crude oil. Again, I'll give you my financial opinion. I uh, will dive in here. Uh, this is crude oil. Uh, I know it's, it looks busy right now. Uh, I just took the, the distance of where it bottomed to where it bottomed its second time. So this is like the first wave, the third wave, and then the fifth wave. Uh, I think it's very similar here. That This is the first wave. We're going to pull back to some degree. Uh, if this were 1127 days, and it's, this is the same distance here, uh, it brings us to, it brings us to, there we go, um, May of 2023, if this were to repeat exactly like it did before. And I'm not expecting it to repeat that same way. Uh, I am just stating if it were to repeat, uh, it would look like uh, May 23rd would be the bottom of that same uh repetition if it were before and that's not what i'm saying it's going to do it's just uh if it were to uh we have been pulling back we have a nice little uh bullish engulfing right here this candlestick right there that guy there's a bullish engulfing uh we're coming on up and we have a little bloody nose is this going to move higher or lower here because uh, we are basically on the trend line uh, so which way is this thing going to break? We're going to have to find out uh, tomorrow, and we'll see which way this thing breaks. Uh, but that's where we are right now. Uh, we've got natural gas heading higher. Nice, strong move. This is a bloody uh, nose chest that I said yesterday. Nice big move today, up 8%. We're at $7.85, .8, roughly, is what we're at uh, right now. Uh, XOP, yeah, you know me, heading higher, finishing strong. Uh, looks really good. Looks really good. Hopefully the momentum can continue uh, in the short term. Again, guys, I'm not playing the short term. Uh, I add on pullbacks and I just hold on. Uh, and this was, we were talking very much about this on the question and answer sessions and the platinum members here recently. Uh, SM Energy heading higher, finishing strong, looking good. Nice, good bullish engulfing the day before. Uh, looks good. And CDAV, these are highly correlated to natural gas. These are natural gas companies. They do have some oil as well, uh, but heading higher for CDAV. Uh, this looks good. We've got nice, good support uh, below it here if it were to go and pull back that amount. Uh, it looks like the total pullback was roughly 48% or so. Crew Energy, a natural gas company. First, I was doing some uh, pattern recognition stuff, but uh, heading higher, looking good. Right on support here. Bouncing off that support and heading higher, finishing quite strong. Uh, CPE also finishing strong. This is more of an oil company. Bouncing off that support area. Uh, going across here multiple times. Nice, good, strong support there. Uh, Athabasco oil. Uh, down a little bit today. Uh, we've got that big old pattern here to pull back. And then basically a sideways day today. Just slightly lower, but momentum's heading on up. We're at that resistance line that we're trying to break. Uh, Recaf, Reconnaissance Energy Africa, it's an oil exploration company. Uh, it is very low, getting a little bit of buying pressure. It, it gapped lower with a little bit of buying pressure throughout the day. Uh, it's probably not a bad spot to be looking at it. Uh, if you like it, we got this gap here, $3.03. It may fill that gap at $3. Uh, CPG. Crescent Point Energy Group up in Canada. Uh, that's heading higher, bouncing off the support area zone and moving on up. And we have some resistance through there that's above it. Uh, getting some nog, get your noggin, came back to so basically the support area and is rocketing higher. Nice, strong closing today. Looks good. Uh, Grand Tier Energy moving higher, looking strong and solid. Uh, Tellurian bounced off the support zone, heading higher, looking strong. Uh, this is a stronger support area as it has many hits all throughout. Uh, so that, that's a nice spot to kind of break out, retest, and then move higher. 
uh, Padevko at support down here. CRK, a natural gas company, came all the way back to support. Now we're heading higher again. Nice, strong finish. Uh, this, I think, has a lot of leverage as the price of natural gas moves higher. Uh, we've got Sand Ridge. Uh, this is another natural gas company. Uh, and higher 6%. Looking strong, finishing strong, it is strong. Uh, coming down to Ring Energy, REI. Ring Energy also moving higher. Looking strong, uh, finishing quite strong as well. Uh, we've got uh, Surge Energy, ZPTAF. Uh, it was heading higher. It looks like we had a little momentum loss throughout the day, but again, it's still heading up there. Uh, we are cleared of all these breakouts and, and resistance lines. Uh, so we just had a normal pullback with the overall markets, uh, or I say the overall oil market. Uh, Tamarack Valley Energy heading higher. That's looking strong. Bounced off support here recently. Uh, Crescent Energy, uh, it's down there, but it's coming back on up. Uh, Vermilion Energy bouncing off that support line, heading on higher, finishing strong. Looks really good. Uh, Meg Energy also uh, at that support line, heading higher, uh, looking strong. And then we've got uh, oh, OBE, Obsidian Energy, heading higher. Uh, energy service companies, we've got uh, OIH, Vanek, Oil Services ETF, uh, moving sideways, heading on up. That's looking uh, better. We're still on that support support line that we've had on up so that looks like it's holding at the at the moment uh tti heading higher tetra technologies another energy service company uh rig had a pretty mean sell off but we're heading on up uh here recently uh we've got pump pump that's pro petrol holdings heading higher that's looking a little bit better it does look like we've got a pattern here Oops. Get out of that. The pattern here looks like that. And I've seen that pattern before. So we might have, you know, we had a sell off here and we're starting to head down higher now. Uh, EXTN, Exterian uh, Corporation. Yeah, we're heading higher, but still a lot of downside momentum there. Uh, these, I think, are. Yeah, still got a lot of downside momentum, but we are starting to uh, recover off these resistance support lines as a support line. Uh, so that's looking a lot better for Valeris. Uh, MMA Offshore, this kind of looks like it almost is putting in a, we might see a downward move here uh, in MMA off, Offshore in the short term. Uh, Tidewater, TDW, uh, nice little selling pressure here. Again, are we scribing out a potential you know move like that? And yeah, we'll see. Uh, NEX, a little bit of buy-in pressure there. Not much to say on a lot of these guys. Uh, KLXE, heading higher. It's looking better. It looks like we're trying to put in some sort of pattern here. Um, something on the lines of, you know, like that. Something on the lines of that there. We've got Nine, which is another small energy service company. Uh, just moving sideways, chopping sideways. Uh, Noble Energy. Uh, it is heading higher, looking a lot better in the buying and selling pressures on the candlesticks here. So it looks like it's trying to put in a bottom and move higher here uh, in the short term. Uh, we, this could pull back one last time because uh, the, the, the way this pattern looks is you kind of come on down. It pauses for a little bit, comes up, and then we have one last spurt lower. Uh, I think that's probably what's going to happen in a lot of these. Uh, this is Helix Energy Solutions Group heading higher. That one's looking better. Uh, Pro Pet uh, Petrofac moving on up. Uh, we got good support all through here, right where it's at. And then Diamond Offshore drilling. Uh, this is very cheap down here, looking good. Uh, so that's the um, oil sector uh, and natural gas. Natural gas looks really strong. Uh, oil, we'll see if we can break the downtrend line here. If we break it, I think all these companies are going to move higher. Um, but, you know, we are going to come to a point where uh, the strategic petroleum reserves uh, are not coming onto the market. Uh, that is towards the end of the year. So there is a possibility here between now 
and we'll say at the end of the year uh, where we do see some weakness uh, because they're going to still be flooding. We'll call it flooding from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve inventory onto the market. Uh, demand at some point will, I think, relax a little bit. We'll see the prices pull on back. And then we'll see what happens after that uh, when the uh, pricing, uh, and when, I should say, when the Strategic Petroleum Reserves stops flooding the market and the pricing comes back and gets real strong in 2023. I think natural gas will also be ultra strong. We've got a tight market from all the heat. Uh, this summer. It's been very hot in the South. They're using natural gas. And uh, I think that we could see a little bit of weakness uh, between markets, depending on when that natural gas. And I think it highly depends on when natural gas, uh, come, the liquefied natural gas plant comes back online. Uh, if you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to the website. The Platinum membership is the membership uh, that I would subscribe to if you want to learn more about financial education, ratios, technical analysis, and I've got a bunch of information uh, loaded to the website. It's basically a, uh, a spot where all this information is, is consolidated into and easier to find. All right, guys, uh, we'll catch you later. This is Finding Value.